Now to innovators, where we look at some of the groundbreaking innovations transforming the world. Our troops are becoming super soldiers. They wear Kevlar, night vision goggles, gunshot detectors, satellite phones, and GPS. But all these new technologies weigh them down. Today, half of all evacuations from the battlefield are due to injuries from heavy loads. Now, Lockheed Martin is developing a high-tech solution. It's called the Hulk, and it gives our soldiers super strength. Bloomberg correspondent Sheila Damarajan went to Natick, Massachusetts to have a look. Meet the future soldier. If he sounds like a robot, it's because he's half man, half machine. He can carry 200 pounds without breaking a sweat. And uphill he gets a little push, thanks to a metal system on his legs called the Hulk. Basically, it's a wearable robot. Jim Nee is in charge of developing the Hulk for Lockheed Martin. It has the smarts to predict what you're doing, and it has to match that motion. Here at Natick Soldier System Center, Army engineers are starting to put the Hulk through its paces. They want to know if it can solve the problem of soldier load. Since World War II, the weight of a soldier's equipment has more than doubled. Add a hefty pack, and all that weight is a leading cause of soldier injuries. Soldier load is our number one problem. Jacob Busick heads this testing center. Whether the Hulk becomes the gotta have solution, it's difficult for me to say right now. So, will the Hulk pass muster here at Natick? Jim Nee is confident it will. Power generation power is generation. key to making this work. Where's the power coming from? Okay, we can turn to the back here. BB-2590, rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. Mm -hmm. Take six of them. This is what drives the leg, what swings the leg, and also what extends the knee. So these are actually motorized hips. This is the power. Was there an aha moment when you're like, this is it, this is actually going to work? Back in April of 2009, we went out and did a marketing shoot. And that's the first time I had actually seen Somebody used the Hulk system, doing all kinds of maneuvers that I really didn't think was possible. After that shoot, I became a all on board, let's go. Since we're at Natick, I devised my own test. What are let's we doing? Let's get to it. Oh, we're jumping jacks? Squats. High knees. Okay, I give high marks for Hulk's flexibility. But how long does the power last? A Hulk used continuously will last four to five hours. The reality is soldiers are out in the field much, much longer. After the power runs out, what happens? Do they just discard the suit? You can change batteries. If you're carrying spare batteries, you can change them out. But is that really practical in the heat of battle? We would never really expect an infantryman to fight inside an exoskeleton. The idea is, though, if you can cover the ground that you need to to get to the enemy, you could then remove that device and be that much more refreshed because you had help getting there. How long do you think it's going to be until a soldier is actually out in a real life situation wearing a Hulk? We're looking at probably about four to five years before we'd see fielding of this in any quantity. Lockheed Martin didn't let me try on the Hulk. But I did get to wear the earliest prototype called the ExoHiker. <laughs> How do you guys move with this much weight on you? It was designed by Berkeley Bionics back in 2005 and has no power source, so still a little heavy to wear. That is an external frame that helps support your load, puts a little torque back in at your knee. So I'm not getting any extra oomph? None. The Hulk has clearly come a long way, but it's about to face its ultimate test, the soldiers themselves. You know, having said all that, even for being a first-generation product, I actually find it pretty easy to walk around in. It's not as constricting as I thought it might be. No, no. Dude. Do a little. <laughs> Great piece. And in case you're wondering, Hulk actually stands for Human Universal Load Carrier.